I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't have a base anymore that was supporting me. I was on my own. I wanted to talk to as many people as possible, and I wanted to hear as much input as possible from all different sides of issues. So it was a complete change in how I campaigned. When I was in high school, we had U.S. Senator Ted Stevens. I got to be in Ted Stevens' intern group. It was totally awesome. And actually, I told my mother I wanted to get a political science degree. She said, oh, honey, do something practical, be a nurse. And so I took her advice and I did pursue nursing. But after college, moved back to Anchorage and I got involved in the Republican Party. And during that time, people started suggesting to me that I run for office. And so I decided to throw my hat in the ring. It was totally frightening when I filed for office, but at the same time, it was important to me. I was immersed in party politics. I campaigned on a very strict Republican platform. There was one way to do it, and this was it. Like everyone who comes into office, we come in with ideals. We're gonna change the world there was a piece of legislation that actually had a piece in it that would be very harmful to our nursing profession. So I offered an amendment, but in order to get it passed, I realized I needed more than just me on it. So I went to one of the most powerful Democrats that I could think of at the time, and that was Senator Betty Davis, who agreed to support my amendment. You can't get anything done in the state senate, the state legislature, unless you work with every wire. What happened in the Senate among the Republicans, though, is we began to see division happening. The political party began to identify me as not Republican enough. Consequently, they recruited an opponent for me in 2020, and I lost that primary. I'd given the job everything I had. I was surprised that I had lost, but I kept watching what was happening in the Senate. I just couldn't sit there and let this continue to happen. So when ballot measure two passed and gave us open primaries, I began to see that there was a real opportunity here to shift the Senate. It totally motivated me to run again. It would require me to do just what I did in 2012 when I went to Betty Davis for the first time and said, would you help me with this amendment? In the days after winning, it wasn't that I was a new candidate. I knew what I had to do. Our country has become so divided that we've forgotten the core values that we share. And I think that's what open primaries and RCV, ranked choice voting, reminds people of, the shared values. I think it would go a long way to bringing our country back to actually the United States of America.